Lexington, Kentucky, the South region, our second game of the day, a 14 versus a three. Penn out of the Ivy League taking on Texas A&M out of the Big 12, the winner to take on Louisville. Who Texas A&M? Well, a jump shot goes down, and finally, the Quakers are on the board. Votel in the lane, the teardrop going down for Iggy. Almost knocked away in a turnover. Courtesy of E.B. Jabber. The confidence of the Quakers is growing. Inside, Riley turning. Oh, oh. it in. 11-9. You expect it to be the other way around. Joseph Jones posting up against Riley. Double team on the baseline. That's great reaction by the Penn defense. And they are getting after it. Knocked away and a whistle. We'll stay right here with 15 to shoot. Talked about the post-up game, and we expected it to be Oklahoma, po Oklahoma uh, excuse me, Texas A&M posting up, but they're Justin Riley. Left-handed. Riley. And he gets the kind bounce. Crosses over, spins, 15-footer. And hits. Lewis kicks it out, Zoller. And he finally hits one. It's a three. To shoot a 20-foot jump shot. Jabber splits the defense and lays it up and in. Since 1994 when they beat Nebraska. And that's Jabber driving to the hoop. Said you have to make some jump shots. All batted around, picked up by Jabber. Quakers with numbers. Four on three. Nice look. Zoller and one. Great look by E.B. Jabber. Even though Penn is a team that tried to slow it down a little bit in the first half, they are not a slow-down basketball team. They score 75 points a game, and Jabber making a great decision in transition. That is a very difficult pass and a great catch by Zoller, who has struggled throughout this game. Mark Zoller is the man that has to step up offensively for Penn. He averages 18 a game. The Jabbers are practicing Muslim. Pull-up jump shot goes down. <laughs> Nicely done by Justin Riley, the freshman from Dallas. Right now, he's sending a message to Billy Gillespie. You should have recruited him. Inside, Zoller posting. Pull-up jump shot gets the bounce. Pull-up jump shot, and that is good. Grandieri makes it a four-point game. Coach right now. Zoller for three. Oh, he got it. 37-34. Zoller now starting to play. Off the heel. Loose. What a play by Grant Deering. Quakers can get even closer here. Jabber to the bucket. Hangs in the air. And one. Ha-ha. E.B. Jabber going to the line to try to tie this thing up at 37. Gus, it's almost like Penn decided, okay, we're down by 13. We're just going to go out and play. And Jabber, who's been attacking the basket all game long in transition, I think A&M thought he was going to stop, but he never did and draws the foul. Free throw in the air. It's good. And we're tied at 37. For three. Rebounded inside. Jabber got it to go. What a hustle play by Brian Grandieri. And Penn takes the lead. On a 21 to 6 run. A 14 versus a 3. Inside and a foul. Penn is just really playing hard. It's like they've decided they don't matter which way the doesn't matter which way the ball's gonna bounce. They're gonna make it bounce their way. Grand Deary falling out of bounds, somehow recovers it, and then Jabber converts again. Jump shot. Gonzalez got those three fouls. The runner on the baseline. No! But Joseph Jones is there for the tip jam. And we're tied at 39. When they need baskets, they go to him. But Jones this time somehow follows it up again. Zoller inside. Got his man in the air and makes it home. Finds it. Draws a triple team. Pulls up and hits. That was great use of the pivot foot. And so the Aggies switch Pompey onto Zoller. Zoller to the bucket. Up and in. Zoller now with 17. Jones to Kirk. Oh, man. 
What a game he's had. Now Zoller, he's been terrific in the second half to the basket, the runner, and he gets it to go. Smith fires. Tapped up and in on the weak side by Tommy McMahon. As Zoller checks out of the game, he turned it on in the second half.